Now, normally I'd be making a video on what we could expect with the upcoming Note 21 Ultra, all the new features, speculation, rumors, all that good stuff. But sadly, it looks like we may not even be getting one. And the weirdest part is that it's not that Samsung doesn't want to make it, but they're not sure if they can, because you may be aware there's a bit of a crisis going on in the world at the moment. Not even coronavirus, but it's the lack of semiconductor chips, this chipageddon we're in. There's a shortage, and it's affecting everyone from cars, I mean, VW, Honda, Toyota, and GM have all reduced production, as well as game consoles, CPUs and GPUs for PC builds, as I'm sure you know if you've tried to upgrade your PC this year. Getting an RTX 3000 series graphics card for anything like retail price is just impossible. And now we're being warned of shortages for smartphones. And Samsung's mobile chief, DJ Ko, has said that there's a serious imbalance in supply and demand of chips globally, and that new high-end models might be difficult to release, and it could be a burden to unveil two flagship models in one year. So he was very careful not to completely rule it out, uh, but it does seem like we're not gonna get a Note 21 or Note 21 Ultra, and instead, at the earliest, we'll be looking at a 2022 release of presumably the Note 22, which is a real shame. So as you guys know, Samsung usually launches their new Galaxy S range at the beginning of the year. This year was actually a month earlier than we're used to back in February. Uh, so we've got the S21 Ultra here. And then usually around August time, we see the updated Note series. This is the Note 20 Ultra, and it usually builds on the S series by adding a slightly more powerful processor if one's available. Uh, this year we'd be looking at, say, the Snapdragon 888 Plus, along with a slightly bigger screen, more squared off corners, although uh, following a similar design from the S series. Potentially they would have kept in the micro SD card slot and uh, paired that with maybe up to a terabyte of storage internally. Plus in terms of RAM, we've just seen the ROG Phone 5, the ultimate edition, uh, pack 18 gigabytes of the stuff. So on the Note series, which is always the all singing, all dancing, over the top flagship from Samsung, we could have seen maybe 16 or 18 gig RAM options. We also usually see some camera upgrades. Uh, in fact, the Note 20 Ultra still is a triple camera setup compared to the quad camera of the S21. So we've only got the single periscope zoom lens on here, so we would have expected uh, a similar setup on here with the two zoom lenses. But what's really interesting is that the staple of the Note series is of course the S Pen, which as you guys know, is also now compatible with the S21 Ultra. Not to quite the same extent, uh, with this we are missing some features like Bluetooth and the air gestures, although a proper S21 Ultra S Pen Pro, lots of P's there, uh, is coming out which will fully work with it. So maybe that was Samsung thinking ahead of time, if we're not gonna get a new Note phone, let's put some of that functionality on the S series. So if we're not gonna see a new Note 21 this year, where does that leave us? Well, DJ Co did suggest that it would just be a temporary hiatus and that we would still look forward to a Note 22 coming next year, which is great. So it's not just killing off the Note series completely. And of course, we've also got the new uh, Galaxy A series, the A52 and A72 has just been launched or at least unveiled. Uh, we've also got the upcoming Galaxy Z Fold 3 to look forward to. And some recent rumors have been suggesting that Samsung wants to kind of pivot away from your traditional rectangular slabs of glass, these smartphones, where it's harder and harder to stand out, and we're seeing even better budget phones, and to sort of go more towards these different form factors, because uh, the Galaxy Flip and the Fold are actually genuinely really good phones. Uh, the Z Fold 2 was one of my favorite devices of last year, so I can't wait to see uh, what they can do with a new one. And I think for me, if I had to pick between uh, a new Fold or a new Note, phone, I think I'd be more excited about the Fold, but what about you? Let me know in the comments below uh, which one you'd rather see this year. So never say never, but with what DJ Co has said, he's the Chief Mobile Officer of Samsung, I don't think we are going to see a Note 21 this year. But this also could just be the start. I don't think this chip again crisis is going to go anywhere anytime soon. I mean, it's caused by a whole bunch of factors, but a lot of it is the uh, pandemic last year affecting manufacturing. Factories had to shut down. Also, companies were ordering less because they were seeing uh, fewer sales. And so the delay of that is now affecting us and we're seeing the shortage. Not only that, but shipping containers are in the wrong places around the world, cryptocurrency mining, and of course, everyone is just at home and working from home. So the demand is higher than ever. And so altogether we have this perfect storm of demand being sky high and supply being low. So prices are gonna go up, or indeed, as we're seeing from Samsung, they're just gonna cut products out this year. One company reported that we may actually be seeing a 5% drop in smartphone reduction this year, which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you consider last year, 1.38 billion phones were sold, that amounts to about 69 million 
fewer phones this year. So right now in March, things aren't looking too bad for smartphones. There's about a million releases this month, including with the new Redmi Note 10 Pro, OnePlus 9 and 9 Pro. We've also got the Oppo Find X3 Pro, new Realmes, uh, new Poco phones. But I think it's gonna be in the second half of the year, from the summer onwards, that we are gonna start to see some cutbacks and maybe some delays. And it is gonna be tricky for Samsung because while they've had a great S21 launch, Come September time when the new iPhones come out, usually they've just come off the launch of the latest Note series. But this year, if we're not gonna get one, aside from maybe the Z Fold 3, Apple's gonna pretty much dominate the latter half of the year. So kind of scary times, not just from a health perspective, but also from a tech perspective. Hopefully it's not affecting you guys too much. Although I know if you're looking to buy a PS5 or uh, upgrade your PC, it already is uh, because of the bloody scalpers and Bitcoin miners as well. But would you be sad if we didn't see a Note 21 this year? And as I say, would you rather see if you had to choose uh, a Note 21 Ultra or a Z Fold 3? Let me know in the comments below. And if you did enjoy this video and want to see more of me pretending like I know what's going on in the world, uh, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you next time right here on the Tech Jam.